Hey there, Bill Stainton here with Turning Creativity Into Money. And you know, because I'm in the, the innovation field, innovation, creativity, because I work in that space, people are always coming up to me and saying, Bill, how can I come up with creative ideas too? How can I come up with the great idea? And I've got lots of ways that you can do that, and we've talked about some of them before here. But here's, here's the good news, which is kind of interesting. You don't necessarily have to come up with the great ideas because other people already have. All you have to do is one, notice them, and then two, ask yourself this amazing question. How can I apply this to my situation? In other words, when you see great ideas, read about them, hear about them, anytime you encounter a great idea, ask yourself the question, how can I apply this? How can I apply their great idea to my situation. You don't have to come up with the idea yourself. Other people already have. I'll give you an example. In 1896, the founder of the Heinz Company, H.J. Heinz, Henry John Heinz, H.J. Heinz, he was, he was in New York at the time, and he was riding New York's elevated train, kind of like the Chicago L. New York used to have an elevated train, and he was riding the elevated train. And he happened to see a sign above a little store, and the sign said, 21 styles of shoes. 21 styles of shoes. Okay, now, think about this. For most of us, if we had seen that sign, what would our reaction have been? I think it would have been one of three things. First of all, not even noticing it. It just would have been part of the background that we don't even notice, right? Never even hits our radar. Second, it might hit our radar. We look at it, we immediately forget it. Or third, we might say, oh, that's, that's a lot of shoes. And then that's it. H.J. Hines saw that sign and said, hmm, how can I apply that to my situation? See, here's why it doesn't land on most of our radar. Because unless, unless we are actively in the shoe business or actively looking, we're in the market for new shoes, we're not, we're not thinking about shoes. And therefore, something that has to do with shoes, we just think, doesn't apply to me, doesn't apply to me. That's the mistake. That when you see a great idea and just think, well, because it's not specifically my field of work, it doesn't, apply, it doesn't apply to me, then we're missing an amazing opportunity. What did H.J. Hines do? He saw that, 21 styles of shoes, and he thought, hmm, that's pretty good. How can I apply that to my business? And that's why now, whenever you buy a Heinz product, you go to the grocery store, you buy a bottle of ketchup, you see this, Heinz 57. Heinz 57. It stands for 57 varieties of food. Now, at the time, Heinz actually made over 60 varieties of food, but 57 was a more memorable number. It's a conversation starter. When you see Heinz 57, people would say, 57 what? And then you, it, it didn't matter, but now they're talking about your product. So where did Heinz 57 come from? It came from 21 styles of shoes. Heinz 57 came from 21 styles of shoes because H.J. Heinz saw something that most of us would not even have noticed and he asked the question, how can I apply this to my situation? Whoever owned that shoe store came up with a great idea. H.J. Heinz just adapted it, adopted and adapted it to his world, to his situation. Well, you can do that, can't you? Again, all you have to do is two things. First of all, be open. Notice great ideas. Don't dismiss them because they don't have any, any, anything to do specifically with your work or what you do or your situation. Just notice the great ideas and then ask the question, how can I apply this to my situation? Then all of a sudden, people will start asking you, hey, how are you coming up with all those great ideas? It'll be our little secret how you're really doing it. You're just seeing other great ideas and then applying them to your situation. I'm Bill Staten. I'll be back next time with more ideas about how you can turn creativity into money.